woman deliberately releases the balloon she's holding, then pulls out a remote control disguised as a camera to direct the balloon towards the Kremlin. When the balloon is directly above a ventilation shaft, she quickly presses a button, causing the balloon to explode and send a launcher into the duct. Anna immediately notifies her teammates to proceed. At this moment, two men disguised as generals just enter the main gate, only to be stopped by guards for inspection. Nick calmly produces fake IDs, but after scanning, the system shows no information on them. Seeing this, a teammate quickly checks his phone, only to find the data is still uploading. Meanwhile, the launcher is trying to hack into the system. Just as they are at a loss, the data finally transmits successfully. Jack hastily asks Fowler to scan the IDs again, and the guard, not daring to offend a general, complies. After seeing the information, the guard quickly apologizes and lets them through. Once inside the database, the duo swiftly releases a jammer to block surveillance and pulls out a pinhole camera to watch the guards, taking advantage of a guard answering a phone call. They use a speaker to emit the sound of dripping water, thinking the toilet is leaking. The guard quickly gets up to check. The two then cover the hallway with a curtain, followed by activating a holographic projection to display the scene behind them on the curtain. When the guard returns to the hallway, he sees the projection from his perspective. The duo then uses the speaker again to distract the guard, pushing the curtain to the vault door, where they use a decoder to open it. As they search for secret files, they unexpectedly alert the guards outside to their presence.